Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my monthly favorites, the first favorite of the year, 2015. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, I usually always start off with um, makeup. So today I'm going to switch it up and start off with hair. So for hair, I have a conditioner and it is the Tresemme Flawless Conditioner right here for um, curly hair. It's the Flawless Curls Curl Hydration um, Conditioner. I love this. I use this to deep condition my hair with absolutely amazing um i've been using this for four years and i always switch up my conditioners just because my hair gets so used to um certain conditioners so i had switched over to aussie and suave and then i ran out of the ran <laughs> And then I ran out of those, so I was like, alright, I can pick up my Trust Me again. So I picked that up, and I've been loving it. And once this runs out, I'm going to switch up to a new conditioner because my hair is starting to get used to it again. Um, my next hair favorite of the month was coconut oil. And this is so versatile for me. I use this to detangle with, um, pre-poo my hair with, seal in moisture, just everything. This is just perfect. Um, I love the smell. I love coconut in general, but the smell is just amazing. And it leaves my hair smelling like coconut a little bit if I use it in the morning. So absolutely have been loving this. And that was all for hair. I only had two things and now the rest of my favorites are going to be all beauty related products. And I'm just going to start off with brushes. I have two brushes to share and the first one is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. This is from their studio line. And I've been using this to contour with and I love it. It gives me the most natural contour ever. I love how it's so fluffy and just wide and just gives me such a nice contour. Um, the next brush is by e.l.f. as well and it's the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush and this is from the studio line as well. It's a little dirty because I just used it but this has been holy grail. This is amazing for blending out my under eye concealer and highlighting my face. It's amazing. I'll apply it, I'll stipple it out, blend it out and my face looks so good. It cuts down the time for highlighting and um, concealing and everything and I absolutely love it. I'm saying that so much in this video, it's ridiculous. And now I'm going to move on to palettes. I have two palettes here. The first one is the e.l.f. Natural Eyeshadow Book. I don't know if I've actually ever mentioned this in a favorites video. I know it's definitely been um, in a lot of my tutorials, but this is what it looks like. I don't want to blind you guys. And I love it. I've really been experimenting with these colors over here. This eye look you can't really see because the sun is going down. But I filmed a get ready with me on this look. So if you want to see it, it will be up next week. But um, as you can see, like these shades here and here, I only use like for um, natural um, eyeshadow looks. So I've really been playing around with this palette this month. Absolutely love it. The purple is down here. And I've also um, been over here. I like it over here, but this side, I'm really liking this side a lot. So this is a favorite. I will leave the link down below. I can't find the link to it on e.l.f. I don't... Um, I don't know if they discontinued it or what, but you can find this at a Burlington Coat Factory. So um, when you go there, look for this. The next palette I have is the Profusion Smoky Palette. And I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I didn't discover this until um, halfway through the month. But I absolutely love it. This is actually my mom's. And she got it for Christmas from a friend of hers. And I was looking, I was like, oh, when did you get this palette? And I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, this is so pretty. I was like, can I use it for a tutorial? So um, she let me do that and I've just been loving it. I filmed a Valentine's Day tutorial using this. And, um, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see it. That will be up this week, actually, on Thursday. And let me show you guys what it looks like. It has a mirror as well. It actually reminds me of the Urban Decay palette. It's not a dupe or anything. The colors are completely different. Just the packaging is long like it, and it has a mirror as well. And this is what it looks like. It comes with a little plastic with it. And the only thing I don't like is that all the shades are shimmer, except for the one up here, which is a matte black. But they're very nice, very pigmented and very soft so if you're someone that likes to wear like color eyeshadows but don't but you don't want it to be popping out of your face you want it to look somewhat still soft and nice this is a good palette for you and this is what it looks like very pigmented but once you rub it on look at that like I the sun is gone I'm sorry but this is what it looks like I don't know if you can see really but it's just so soft and they're very easy to blend out and they look very very nice my next beauty favorites are lipsticks, and these are the Milani lipsticks, and I have three to share with you guys. I will switch them. The first one is Teddy Bear, and it's just a very nice, soft, um, nude brown that looks like this, and I love it. I'm wearing that on my lips, too, as well. The next one I have is Naturally Chic, and it is just a nice pink color. 
It's kind of like a your lips but better pink lip color. And then the last one I have is Plum Rose. You guys know it has been my absolute favorite to mix with. Have been loving these lipsticks. They smell good. They're long lasting. They are very moisturizing. My next favorite is tape. I know it's weird. <laughs> um, but I've actually been using this to create my wings. I have been seeing a lot of YouTubers use it when they do their makeup. I was like, alright, I'm not gonna do that, whatever. It will change your life. If you're skeptical like me, do it, do it, <laughs> do it. It will change your life. I absolutely love it. It gives me a nice sharp wing look and it also helps prevent fallout so if you're one of those people that puts on foundation and everything first before you do your eyes um i don't recommend the tape actually because when you take it off it's gonna pull some of your makeup off just a little bit but you just have to try it and see how much it takes off and if you're okay with it but if you do your face after you do your eyes then definitely do it it prevents fallout the fallout will get on the tape and it creates a smooth line so your eyeliner and um eyeshadow are all cut smooth and nice I'm so dramatic in this video. I don't know why. Okay, guys. So that was my last favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know some of your favorites down in the comments below. I definitely want to know. And if we had the same favorites this month, tell me. And as always, if you have a request for a video you want me to do, leave it down below and I will be sure to do it. But that is all. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye. My next beauty favors are lipsticks, and these are the Mil Milani. <laughs> Let's try that again. My next beauty...